Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. We about to get into this crochet bucket hat. You guys been asking me, so let's just go on ahead and get into it. So I'm gonna use this late stripe yarn from Joann's. It's my pumpkin spice signature yarn. We are gonna use a 5.5 millimeter hook. This is my favorite brand, Clover, you know. I already got four squares popping, so we just about to make another one real quick. You'll need about you'll need five squares for this project. All right, y'all. So of course you're gonna make your slip stitch or not, whatever. Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> and I'm gonna chain up three. Once we do that, I'm gonna slip stitch, chain up two, and then we about to do three double crochets. One, two, three, <laughs> and then chain one and do three again. And you're going to do that four times. Chain one and slip stitch into the first double crochet. So you see how we did three. We're gonna slip stitch, slip stitch into that first one. Just like that. Now we about to chain up three. One, two, three, baby. <laughs> okay, let me stop. Now we're gonna turn our work and then we're gonna add two double crochets because the chain, the chain up of three at uh qualifies as a double crochet excuse me and now we're about to do we chained one and did three more bear with me y'all this is my first voiceover so it's gonna be we're we gonna get there so you're just gonna keep doing that around the whole granny square you're gonna do three double crochets chain one do three again I do it this way because I like the way it looks um, close together. Usually people chain two uh, when they do granny squares, but I like to just do one. And that's how I get the look, you know? It's just how my brain works. So now we about to slip stitch and here's where it gets different. So that chain one space, we're about to go into that as well with the slip stitch. And then we're gonna chain up three for a double crochet and uh, we're gonna start our next round. I'm gonna do four. So I do four of this all together for the granny square, four rows. So we're just gonna chain, we gonna, do two more double crochets. Bam. Now we're about to chain one. Oops. <laughs> chain one and then do three more double crochets. So I'm just going to show you this again in case anyone was confused. You're going to slip stitch. You're gonna, Well, sorry. You're going to chain one. Then you're going to slip stitch into that um, space <laughs> to bring it together. Then you're going to slip stitch again in that chain one space and then chain up three. I'll uh, try to type it out in the notes in the description just in case anyone's confused. This is a real a real video right here, y'all. And, and I'm not gonna do this voiceover a thousand times. So please, like I said, bear with me. So we're done and we're just gonna slip stitch to finish off, well, chain one and then slip stitch to finish off this square. 
bam so we got our square it looks beautiful now I'm just gonna lay out the square so every time I make a, a hat I do it differently and I just like play around with the colors and I see how they look together um, just to kind of see how I want the vibe to be what colors do I want next to each other and I try to envision it in my head so yeah that's basically what I'm doing right here is just playing around and seeing how I want the the color scheme to go before I sew all the pieces together so this is what we went with this is how we gonna do this hat and now we're gonna sew all these pieces together you want the the right sides facing each other before you start so that's basically what I'm trying to show you right here is that we're gonna put the right sides facing each other and we're gonna start in this corner here that chain one space I'm gonna go into that on both sides just reattach your yarn so we can use single crochets you can use slip stitch um, some people actually get a needle some type of needle and sew theirs together but I just do this maybe one day I'll get fancy like that but for now I single crochet down the whole thing and I always chain up one and then um, single crochet that's just how I do my work You see, I was struggling a little bit right there. It's all good. It happens sometimes. This is my first time recording like this bird eye bird's eye view so I'm trying to get the hang of it. I really wanted to talk as I made the video because I just felt like it would be easier, but it was just too much. It was too much. I'm 38 weeks pregnant, trying to bend over and do this, so I just yeah. <laughs> but I love y'all, so I made this video because like I said, you guys are always asking about my bucket hat. So now we're just going to go into the corner again. This is finishing it off in that chain one space on both sides. And I'm just showing you where I'm going in at. And that will be the last single crochet. Struggling. It's this bird's eye view, man. <laughs> So yeah, that is how it looks. That is the front. Beautiful. That's how the front's supposed to look. And then the back will be like that. So don't be like me and mess up. Because I've messed up before where the the seam was on multiple sides. Just, just don't do it, okay? <laughs> so this is how it looks when it's done. You see all the seams are on the same side. That's how it looks in the front. So now, to finish off this hat, we are going to sew the these two sides together, basically. And it's going to make a circle once you're done with it. <laughs> 
So I'm just showing you again, it's the same concept as sewing the rest of these together. You're gonna start in the corner on the chain one space and you're gonna reattach your yarn. Um, you know, I tie mine in a knot, then I bring, I bring up a loop so I can do a single crochet. And so this is, well, I guess it's more of a square and not a circle. But yeah, this is how it's supposed to look. A cube, a crochet cube. So now the fifth piece is what's going to go on the top. And basically you're going to do the same thing. I'll show you though, because um, I do it a little different. I mean, I do the same. I just start it different. So instead of going into the corner first, the chain one space, I start in an actual um, stitch first. So one of the double crochets. You'll see why at the end. It's basically so I can slip stitch into the last chain space. But like I said, I'll show you. So here we're just reattaching the yarn again. Same old, same old. And I'm out of breath, so I'm not huffing and puffing at y'all. Um, Cause this baby is just all up in my lungs. So we're gonna reattach the yarn and we're gonna chain one, which is how I do it. And then just start doing single crochets all the way down, just like you were doing before. So here we are at the corner. So I'm gonna go into that chain one space and then you're gonna see this hole. There's basically a hole where I slip, where I um, single crocheted the other two spaces together. Does that make sense? <laughs> but I know y'all saw it. So we're just gonna chain one in that and then now we'll go back to regular scheduled programming and go into those double crochets and single crochet them together or however you do it. So this came up really fast. So now that we're done, we're just gonna slip stitch into that first stitch that we created. And voila, we're done. If you need me to like break that down more or do a slower video or something, I don't mind making another one for you guys. Just like, let me know, but I have faith in you guys. I know if you're watching this, then I know you know how to crochet. So you get the gist of what I did. So yeah. Just turning it inside out so you guys can see how it looks. It looks like a little cap, you know? That's probably why I said circle earlier. <laughs> so now we're gonna add the brim, you know, the little roughly part. I might change this up, but as of right now, this is how I do it. The thing with me and my crochet is I could do something for a few months and then completely do it totally different because I just like to play with different looks so anyway let me not ramble we're gonna reattach this yarn and it's really simple you guys um all I do is two double crochets and then I I um increase every two stitches so I do double crochet double crochet two double crochets and, and two double crochets and one stitch so one two and then two double crochets in that stitch now i'm going into a chain one space and that's going to count as one and two now we're going to add two into this next stitch Like I said, having a hard time with this bird's eye view, but we gonna get there. My 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 tutorials is gonna get popping. I got y'all. One, two, increase two. Let me know if that's annoying with all my extra shenanigans in the video. I don't wanna annoy y'all. So 
So yeah, you're just going to do that all the way around the hat. I'll be going into all kinds of spaces. If I feel like it's a space, then it's a space. And I'm going to do that for two rows. So this is what two rows look like. Um, now on the last row, we're going to chain up two. Flip our work. And I'm, I'm going to do three double crochets and then add two to the next stitch. So one, two, three double crochet. And I'm going to add two to this next stitch. One, two. And I'm just going to do that for the last row all the way around. And this is my hat isn't it so cute and yeah I made it for this outfit so that's basically why I made this video because I really wanted to make this video so yeah if you don't follow me on Instagram you want to see the finished pictures IG at that hippie chick Pinterest that hippie chick all of that so this is how I make my hats now depending on the type of yarn it's different but we're just gonna start with this for now I love you guys thank you